Hi, Doc from DocsDetecting.com. Uh, out in the Arizona Gold Field, it's the uh, 19th of March. This is the third signal I've got. Um, I apologize, I had to take a little dirt off to get it to turn into a signal that I thought was worthy of you guys even listening to. Um, when you're detecting, remember bushes are our friends. Uh, especially in these little gullies. Uh, nuggets like to sort of, they, I think the water comes and it sort of swirls around the bush and it causes a low pressure in the water pressure and the nugget just drops out right in front of it. So I had to take that much dirt off just so this thing would start sounding uh, acceptable. Uh, let me set the camera up over here and you can hear what I'm hearing. And I think you'll agree that it, it's starting to sound pretty good. Before it was just faint. And I probably, again, it might have been one of those things where maybe I wouldn't have bothered uh, with the exception of I've already gotten gold out of this gully. And uh, this is right where I like to get gold, uh, or I found that gold accumulates. Oh, by the way, before I do this, I mean, do you guys, can you see this big quartz structure right here? I mean, this is the kind of stuff we love to look at. Let me show you. Look at this quartz. <laughs> That's crazy. That big quartz outcropping there. And uh, got a little contact zone. You can see there's a little granite in there. And if you come right across the gully, look at all this. My headphones laying right there. Look at this quartz blow that just blows right into the gully. So, big quartz boulder there. So, this is definitely gold country. And uh, we'll see if we can scare out the third nugget for the day. Matt here. All right. Let's see what you think. Not bad, huh? Now, I, uh, I'm just wondering if it's something a little bigger than some of those dinky ones because we're already down, you know, probably six inches. As I said, this is uh, one of those rare gullies that doesn't have trash in it. It's sort of neat when you get onto a virgin gully like that because you know that any target you get is most likely to be gold. I'm burning through batteries like crazy. It seems like uh, I only get about one filming per battery. I'm using a little Fujitsu waterproof camera. It's only waterproof to like, I don't know, 10 feet or something like that. But uh, because it's waterproof, it also makes it dustproof. And I sort of like it. It takes good pictures, too. Sounding better. Let's see how much more dirt I can find. Move this out of the way. This is my spoils the pile that I know uh, is not got the target I'm looking for. Well, out of the way. That's some nice. Oh yeah, now we're running into hard stuff at the bottom. It's uh, I don't think it's bedrock. I think it's just large boulders that are buried that keep a nugget from sinking all the way to bedrock. Take a look. There you go. It's that piece of white quartz right there. That's where I'm getting the target at. So it's probably uh, probably sitting behind that piece of quartz. Maybe started to sink down and got caught. Looks 
time we're getting closer though. down there's a lot of uh, stuff down in here it's all broken up cracked I'll probably work this way down there and here I'm grinding against the uh, porch right there It's got to be laying right on top of this. There's a little that uh, piece of quartz I showed you that broke off, and there's a big piece of quartz down here. So it's got to be sitting on top of that, I would think. Could be under it, I suppose. likely it's sitting on top of it. Oh, it sounds all right. Let's see. Sure there's one I know. Okay. I get the same sound from the pile, so. Let me show you this again. Sorry, you're getting interesting. See that? That's all hard. And I'm getting the target. Uh, well, it might be, might be probably alongside of that in uh, in the crack. Quartz. over here, some loose dirt. This uh, might be a nice little nugget because it's down pretty deep for one of those little ones, so it might be a, close to a one grammar. See all that deteriorated quartz? This might have, uh, this might have been right in the quartz at one point. So it broke loose. Pinpoint it. Pinpoint it more like up in here, alongside that piece. And that's a. That's just a little sort of a crack between the. I don't know if that's bedrock or like I said just a big old chunk of quartz in there. But it looks like and in for a lot of excavation. Get it out of here. Wow, this is gonna be a bear. Uh. Of course, the ones you gotta work for. They're the ones you remember the most. Uh, 
This is why you need one of my picks. Okay, I, I dare you to try to do this with some of these lightweight picks out there. Forget it. It won't go through this stuff. Here, look at that. All right, so I broke up a lot of that. This is quartz. And, but in no sense I'm dinking around with this. And it's still in the hole, I'm not getting anywhere. And uh, trying to fight a crack, making a nugget. Here, look at this. Look at what my pick does to hard quartz. Tears it to pieces. The thing about my picks is that we cut the heads first, then we temper them. A lot of guys make their picks out of uh, disc arrows. And so they take a disc arrow that's already tempered, of course, and they cut it, and the cut causes heat and it loses a temper. We don't use disc arrows. We use metal. We cut the metal first. Once the metal is cut, then we shape it, put a little bend in it, and then we heat treat it. Uh, hold on, that might be the camera. Move up a little. Well, maybe 14 inches. Let's see what we got. This ought to be at least a 38 caliber slug, right? This is farther down the gully, so it. Uh, deeper down here, I guess. Come on, guys. That's what I want to hear. All right. Have you got a good... Uh, When you got a scoop full, got big rocks like this, of course you may want to check them. But if you had a nugget that big, I think you'd feel it in your hand. All right. Agitate it. Whoa. Oh, it must be right on top. amazing. That's the one I think it is. Because uh, it's not that big. Unless it's a... Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think this is it. I guess you're more gold. Is there nothing else there? Look at this. That's I said, unless that's a real solid piece, I don't, um, there. Maybe, if it's a solid piece, it could go one gram, but it looks more like, uh, like a seven-tenths of a gram. 
a little water on it. Pretty nice. Yeah, that's a chunky little bugger. It's, uh, it's a nice nugget. Nice nugget. Okay, this is Doc. I got the camera around. DocDetecting.com. That's nugget number three, and it is 945. Okay, I think the last one I dug at what, about 812 or something like that? Just go slow. This GPZ 7000 just doesn't miss gold. It's amazing. And look at that crazy hole. Let me drop this. Let's put, this put that nugget on the uh, coil for a second. Look at this. Remember that I started up here. Okay. So, look at that. Down in that. Down in all that broken quartz, all hung up. But uh, what a pretty little nugget. Put that right there on that. Sounding off to that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, I'll be back with a couple more. Uh, I'm really pushing my luck, though. Three in a day is uh, that's not a bad day, uh, especially for this area of Arizona. All right, take care. Bye.